Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Tiny Topia. So this is a brand new city building game. Uh, with a bit of, I can't talk. So this is a brand new city building game, but with a bit of a difference. It's based on like a little toy thing. So if you look, it's like, it's sort of on like a little toy playing mat and you can see like a kid's bedroom in the background. And it's also in a way, a little bit like Balan City, if you remember my video on that. So to start off, you have a tutorial. You also have a sandbox. But then there's all of these levels. And I mean, there's a lot of levels. Like look how long it goes on for. There's so many levels. <laughs> yeah, but we're gonna start on the first level, the fledgling fields. All right, so you can see up here, we have a mayor's to-do list. Our main goal is to complete the special building. Our two secondary goals are got to build a tier three store and reach a thousand citizens with 50% happiness. All right, and if we zoom right out, so this is our first little area. It's like, it's a cool little... <laughs> I actually love this. It's a cool little, like, playing mat thing. Uh, set up in someone's lounge, I think. And you can see we've got, we got a, we've got a large highway coming through here. Enters... And exits through a tunnel either side. And then we've got a little town coming off. We've got a coal plant here that produces electricity. And then we've got a few a few little houses. We've got tier 2 house, tier 1 classy house, and a tier 5 classy house. Uh, however, you can see there's a floating suitcases. That means they've got no jobs. So down here, we've, we've got a shop, a tier 1 store. And we can upgrade this to a tier 2 store by building another tier 1 store on top of it. So if we head down into jobs we can select a store so we just need to rotate and then we just need to make these two stores get a bit get a bit close to each other boosh and now we've upgraded into a tier two store and when you when you hover over these you can see how you upgrade to a tier three store so this one we need to bung a tier two on top and as that's one of our secondary goals i think we're gonna do that so we're gonna grab another store and we'll bung it on there facing that way and then we'll bung another one once rotated and the triple upgrade is complete we have a tier three store and then looking at our houses you can see no more job problems so happiness has gone up it was on 30 percent now we're on 35 uh, we've got a pre-built little area over here so i'll show you how the roads and stuff work you literally just click a road and build it <laughs> who'd have thought uh, but these guys don't have any they don't have any jobs to go to that's because this is too far away so when we go back to build store you can see there's, there's like a radius. So if I place this store in the middle, that will affect all of those houses. And we may as well do a tier two to try and please this person. All right, so if we just rotate around, this is a very unusual store setup. <laughs> so you have to walk along the grass to get to the entrance of this tier two store. And then if you want to get to the store on top, you sort of, I, I don't really know how you get up there. But uh, the residents like it, so you're all good. All right, so we need to try and get a thousand citizens. So the obvious way to do that is you build more houses. We can decide between a house, a classy house, or an apartment. Now, as I've got loads of money, 98 grand, and we're trying to increase the happiness, we're going to go with classy houses. Classy houses for all. Yeah, so I'm going to put a couple down here. Because I put them next to each other, they merged into one. So if we rotate around, we can do that again by putting two houses at the back. So two classy houses, and they'll merge into one. And then it will merge into one. Boosh. And there we have our tier three classy house. Uh, I'm quite intrigued to see what a tier four classy house looks like. So we're going we're gonna to classy house everything up. So there you go. There's the tier two. There's the tier three. Merge. Why aren't they merging? Oh no, I think I ruined it. Oh no. <laughs> okay, for some reason we've just got two houses on top facing each other. I think I didn't do them close enough. Uh, thankfully, we do have this down here, a move block. So it costs 500 quid, so it's not cheap. Uh, but it allows you to move things wherever you want. So if we do that, basically the problem was I made the face the wrong way. So if we rotate this and then bung her back on, there you go, the merge and the double merge. Look at that. So now we have a tier four classy house. And to upgrade that to the tier 5, you just need two tier 1 classy houses stacked on top in front, as you can see in blue. And then that will end up like this classy house. Yeah, however, as you can see with the briefcase, there's, there's no available jobs. So if we look at this store, uh, there's no vacancies available. So there's 60 jobs available there, but none are available for our new residents in our classy house. So two choices, we can either upgrade this or we can just build another store. So we're going to head into jobs. And I, I don't want to do a store. Uh, we're going to go We're going to go with a school. It costs 10 grand, but we are... Go away, woman. It costs 10 grand, but we're doing pretty well for money. So we're going to bung this in up there, I reckon. And, and I quite like doing a bit of a, a bit of a diagonal. Proper on the corner. So happiness is going up. I'm going to build just a load of houses, I think. So I think we build a nice little, nice little housing estate down here. And if I bung one there and then rotate this one. Yes, our houses have merged into this tier two house. Uh, we can upgrade this one by <laughs> pressing a house there, which looks a bit unusual, but 
There we go. And that's as high as the normal houses go. But the next thing, this town has no emergency services. So obviously we can come down to emergency services. And then we've got we've got various things to choose from. The standard fire station, hospital and police station. However, these ones are a little bit different. So we've got a police camera, which just expands the range of the police station. They're pre pretty normal. Same with a helipad. We can just place them on the emergency buildings. However, this one, a turret. <laughs> you know, a mounted gun that will automatically shoot monsters attacking your city. So that's something a little bit different with this game. Uh, but oh god, we've we got a we got a fire, so we got to quickly build a fire station. And I'm, why am I bothering with the orientation? <laughs> All right, so fire station there. Let's rotate. Uh, if we come over to this side, fire truck. We actually need to place it down. So if we place you there, or you go and there you go. Yeah, he's putting out the fire. Oh god, and a car just crashed right into him. <laughs> And then got shotted out the back end. Now, as you can see, the fire station is only one wide, so it only fits one fire truck. We can upgrade this. I think as we got the money, we may as well. So as we're getting used to now, we just bung that on the side. Oh, and, and nothing happens. Why didn't you merge? There we go. No. Bollocks, I just wasted 500 quid. Oh, I think I might have done it too close. Maybe I did it too close. Let's move again. This is becoming an expensive fire station now. <laughs> yeah? No. Right, final move. And if it doesn't work this time, sod it. We're staying with two tier ones or well, how about if i move this one to there oh i smashed the tree and it still did not upgrade and now it's <laughs> oh i'm wasting so much money so this this is what happens if you build outside of your power plant range so if we come over here you can see this is our massive range stop telling me there's a special building available i know there is uh so this will not do we're gonna have to move that so we'll move it back in there and maybe maybe it'll merge oh god what happened there <laughs> It just jumped into the road. Yeah, but as the range for the fire stuff isn't very good, I'm actually going <laughs> to... I'm going to spend more money. I'm just throwing money away. I'm going to put a fire station up over it. There we go. So that will, that will protect these guys. You can see the, the area over there. And this one will protect most of these guys. I don't know why that range has gone under the map, but um, but it'll be fine. Anyway, let's build a police station. So I think we'll come over here. Bong one in there. And then we'll use our police camera to uh, keep an eye on up here. One there, one by the school, and one in the middle of these. So th there's no hiding from police in this town. Okay. <laughs> well, un unless you live by this one, because uh, I'm not sure how much that camera's going to do. Although it looks like we're sort of just peeking into their windows. We're doing a bit of undercover work. Uh, finally, we need a hospital. So I think we'll bung that down there. That looks like quite a nice spot. Facing the road. Lovely. Right, so if we come down here, we've got special buildings. So we can go into here, and it's the mayor's mansion. I am the mayor. And I need a place to live. So I'm going to pick a nice little spot up here overseeing everything. <laughs> now you can see like there are physics involved. So this comes in handy later on in the game. And it's a bit more about the balance city sort of things. Now, of course, we've got no electricity up here. So I'm going to build a solar panel. I'm going to bung that underneath in the shade. <laughs> but that should be fine, right? If you'll notice in our to-do list, our goal is to complete the special building. So we haven't built the special building yet. We've just put the base down. So back in our special building tab, we've got this, the mansion. It only costs three grand, which is pretty good considering we have 200 grand. Uh, but you need different populations to unlock the following ones. Uh, so we need 100 population. We've got 191, so we can bung this in. I quite like that it sort of resembles the strongest shape, and that's what I would expect from the mayor's mansion. So we'll put that on there. Oh, it's a bit, it's a bit wibbly. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried we might fall into the water, but um, I like living on the edge. Literally living on the edge. Uh, so we've got another story for the mayor's mansion, so I think we'll bung that on. So it's, it's moving about quite a lot, so <laughs> we'll time this right. Ready? Boosh. Oh yes, clicked in. Lovely. And then our final bit is $8,000, which is easy money. Chump change to me. Uh, but I need a population of 250. So we're going to have to build more houses. And I'm going to build some apartments because we haven't got any apartments yet. So we'll place one of those down there. And to upgrade this, we need another one on top and then a house on top of that. So we'll bung that on there. And then we'll bung our house on there. Oh, and there it is. Lovely. Right, so to upgrade this to a tier 3 apartment, we need to do what we've just done several more times. So let's rotate around. we we'll do one there, one there, bang another one behind it. And then we just need to shove our houses on top. And then the final one. Boosh, ready? Yes, mega apartment. And then of course we can upgrade this to a tier 4 with just 4 tier 1 apartments. So we'll just bung 1, 2, 3, 4. Oof, that is nice. That's a proper posh building, that. 
Oh no, I believe that's the max. We can upgrade that. All right, so it can hold 170 people. Uh, but there's only 20 in there at the moment. So we're going to have to provide all of these needs. So there's no firefighters nearby. Because I think we're out of range of that guy. There's no police coverage. And there's no jobs. So first things first. We'll build a school and we'll shove it back there. So that's a lot of jobs now. Uh, but the apartment is still hungry for jobs. So we're going to upgrade our school. Yes, this is going to rival the old school. And they always do this. They, they leave the old schools just old and shabby. And they upgrade brand new schools into that. Look at it. <laughs> it's a tier two school. And it's just about taking all the jobs from the apartment. So that is great. Oh, and the tax it's bringing in. So all of these buildings, they give you taxes. So the more people you have in them, we've got 195 in there. They're giving us... A lot of tax money, 1400 And in total, you see we're getting just under six grand every few seconds. I don't even know how many seconds that is. All right, so now we have enough people to go to our special buildings and we can build the roof plaza thing for our mansion. So if we do that, yes. So yeah, we've just put a castle turret on top, complete with a hot tub. I don't even know how the water's staying in there. Because <laughs> that is, it's so wobbly. It just keeps wobbling. <laughs> but at least now I can overlook my lovely tiny town of Tiny Topia. So there we are. Get a little snapshot of our first city we've created. And then we'll go on to the next level now. So we've got a nice green tick in there. And we're going to go on to... And you can see this one. It's, it's going to be a bit different. All right, so this is where the game gets very interesting. So we're on a sort of bookshelf sort of thing. And we're sort of teetering over the edge of a massive drop. And we're building our city on this ruler. Uh, currently wedged in some books. And we've got, to, we've got to build up. And we've got to reach this height. That's the goal of this level. Now we've also got some secondary goals. We've got build a tier 4 apartment and reach 250 citizens with 40% happiness. So to start, I think we'll go for an apartment. I don't think there's any money constraints on this. We don't have any money. Whether it's safe to build on the end, I'm not entirely sure. But sod it. I've also down here, there's a snap button. So when I was struggling earlier to get buildings to like upgrade, now it literally snaps to them. So that's quite useful doing things like this. So I'm going straight in with the tier three or tier two. Because uh, I sort of memorized what we need to do from last time. There you go. Tier twos, tier twos, and now a tier three. Boosh. And then four apartments on there. Lovely. <laughs> So we've done our secondary objective already. Yes, we have. Look, this lovely lady is telling us. Uh, however, these people need some jobs. They've got no jobs. So again, we can go the store route or we can go the school route. I think we're going to go for the school route. So I think these were fairly easy to upgrade. So yeah, better school is just bung one on top. There we go. Now we've got people and we've got happiness. So the town is looking good. I'm going to try and build another apartment behind it. So if we rotate around, oh, this is very precarious. <laughs> Take auto snap off for now. So we'll bung one there. Then we'll turn auto snap back on. And then we can snap to that. Perfectly lovely. All right, so was it three and then a house? I think it was. Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> it was two and a house. Oops. Oh, well, I've cocked that up. Anyway, let's keep going up. Let's keep going up. All right, if we stack those on top, then they're the same height. There we go. All right, so my thoughts are literally just go up with apartments. All right, so happiness is dropping. That's because these don't have any electricity. Yeah, so we can build a power plant and put it there. I think that's going to make people unhappy, unfortunately. Uh, but we've now got electricity for all these people. But yeah, you can see down here, the area quality has gone down. So I think we should be able to build some trees and stuff. Or even better, a skate park. Oh, look, there's a person. They don't look like they're skateboarding. They look like they're using those weird shoes with wheels on the back. Uh, but happiness definitely went up, so I think we'll shove another one. Yeah, look, 100% happiness in these apartments now. Beautiful. Uh, jobs are still an issue, so we're going to double up on the school. So essentially, we're just stacking schools on top of schools on top of schools. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. One fell off. Oh, dear. Uh, but we've reached the height now. Yay. So there's our little bookshelf city. <laughs> and look at all those people skating. Nice. Right, next level. All right, so now we've unlocked Paris, but I'm not I'm not going to go to Paris because I feel like I'll probably do some French again and offend loads of people. So instead, we're going to go to this level, the UFO crash site. All right, so on this level, we've got like a little trailer park sort of thing. And that's an actual genuine crashed UFO. Uh, you can see up here, there's not enough power. 
And if we look over here, our coal plant is sort of in the wrong place. I think the best way of doing this is we just use our move it tool and we shove it over there. Oh, now no one has electricity because I, I built it too far away from roads. Oops. So uh, we'll, we'll build a road to it. There we go. Much better. Electricity for everyone. Uh, so the special building this is a trailer mega tower. Uh, it's got all sorts of parts to it. So I think we'll... Oh, we just bung it in the middle somewhere. I think we'll put it there for now. So that is what it will look like in the end. <laughs> Pretty cool. I feel like this could be a level where we need... We need the turrets to help us out. I'm actually going to build one because I'm a bit paranoid. So, so we now have a turret in there just in case. The one thing I love on this game, I love how the cars go around the corners. It's like drift, <laughs> drift. <laughs> it's very aggressive cornering. Oh god, we, we've got a... We've got a baddie stealing our money. So send a police car up there. There you go. You are under arrest, son. He just <laughs> he just shot him with a megaphone. Oh wow, he really stole a lot of money though. Uh, that's that's not great. Anyway, more jobs. We're gonna we're gonna try this one. The tourist trap. Now we know tourists they love anything UFO. So we'll shove one of these down there, facing the right direction, of course. And that should cheer this person up. You'd hope. Yes, there you go. They now have a job. There's only there's only trailers in this in this level. We can stack them on top of each other to upgrade that. Lovely. Let's get the next upgrade. We need that next to it. And then just these put on top. So two there. Look at that. Oh, I destroyed a tree. <laughs> and then to upgrade that, we need to do the same on top again. So one there. Oh no, I've cut this up. <laughs> How tall can you build these? Oh, it's getting a bit wobbly. Oh no, it's coming down. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, they died. Oh crap, there's like people burning. Oh no. Fire engine, fire truck. Get over there. Oh, and I think they, they need an ambulance. So ambulance. Oh, we lose money. Oh man, that was a disaster. <laughs> right, I think they've picked everyone up. We lost a lot of money doing that. That probably wasn't very sensible. Uh, but now I really want to build like a trailer mega tower. I've noticed these as well, foundations and scaffold. Use as support to build complex structures. All right, let's build a solid foundation first. And then let's just go mental with the trailers. All right, and I'm sort of thinking we sort of make this strong by doing a bit of a bit of Jenga trickery. So we'll turn off auto snap. And we'll make these ones go that direction. Oh, no, they've combined. No. <laughs> oh, the game tricked me. Okay, okay. We're going to have to demolish those. That costs some money. All right, in that case, what if we just do a straight up? Oops. <laughs> that failed instantly. All right, snap back on. Let's just go up and up. Because surely these should be balanced. Right? Oh no, they don't like it. Oh, there's a fire and death again. Oh god. I love the ambulance is just literally on top of him. Like, we'll save you. <laughs> what if I just use scaffolds? Oh no, that's starting to fall as well. There you go, that'll prop it up a bit. That will prop it up a bit. Right, more trailers. More scaffolds. Oh, it's going high. It is going high. Right, quick, quick, it's coming down, it's coming down. Build up to support it. Oh no, it's falling that way. Ugh. <laughs> Right, anyway, enough of that. We've built a tier 3 trailer tower, which is pretty crazy. Let's build a tier 4 tower. We need a tier 3 store on top, and then a tier 1 trailer tower on top of that. Right, okay, so <laughs> tier 3 store. How are we meant to do that? It's going to be hanging off the front. This doesn't seem right. <laughs> yep, yeah, that's not right. It just fell down. Have I got a stack of tower? Or is it because I need to rotate? Let's rotate. Or if we... Oh, really? We're doing this, are we? <laughs> it's not even the right height. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we did it. We did it. Okay, it's up there. It's up there. So now we should be able to come down here, demolish. And what if we delete one of those? No. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay, how about we move this instead? I don't know how it works. Oh, I'll tell you what. I think this is where he meant to use scaffolding. All right, so demolish costs the same as moving. So I may as well just move all of these. All right, so now scaffold to the top. That's how you do it. And then you can move that up there. And now it sits up there. Okay, that makes sense. That makes way more sense. Oh, it's actually a tier three shop. We need bollocks. Okay, so tier three is that. And then that will merge. All right, so that's our tier three. So now we need a tier one tower on top of that. This is a bit dangerous. There's a slopey roof. Is this going to be a good idea? Oh, God. Let's quickly build them before they fall. Oh, dear. There's a fire. <laughs> Crap, get the fire truck. All right, we're all good. We're all good. So, how the crap do I build on top of there then? Do I need more scaffolding up the back? I hope not, because it won't let me build there. <laughs> Alright, how about instead, we do... We build our trailer tower down here. So that's the tier 1 trailer tower. So if we grab that now with move, and if we do that instead... Oh no, how is that even possible? <laughs> Alright, right, let's move this. 
with snap turned off. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh no, now the store fell off. <laughs> no, now everything's on fire. Oh no, look, there's someone stuck on the scaffolding. Can we put an ambulance up there? We literally can. <laughs> the ambulance is up the scaffolding. I don't even know how that works. I'll tell you what we could do, actually. Let's move this and rotate it. All right, so now it's on facing that direction. Now let's scaffold up the back of it. Nice. And now we might be able to put our trailers behind. Can we shove that there? Please work. <laughs> yes. No. Oh, balls. <laughs> oh, dear. Bye. <laughs> Ambulance! The ambulance is on fire! <laughs> Alright, we can add to the mega tower at least. Now we've got to double our population, so trailer towers for everyone! Alright, so there we go. After a bit of spamming, we've finally unlocked the full mega tower. And it's just about standing. <laughs> oh god, a UFO! A UFO! Look, our turret's actually doing something! They're, they're stealing stuff! Bastards! It's building another turret. Oh, he's gone! Anyway, this next level looks really cool. Turntable Town. We're going to build a town on a turntable. <laughs> right, so here is our level. We're on like a coffee table in the middle of a lounge. We're actually building our town on a record, which spins around. <laughs> I was going to say a lot of people probably don't know what this is, but I feel like there's been a bit of a resurgence in the last few years. A bit of vinyl. But anyway, as we're, as we're vinyl, we're quite posh. So we're, we're only using the classy houses for this one. So let's show you that. Oh, God, they actually spin around. <laughs> All right, we need some electricity. Let's build a coal plant over this side of the vinyl. I'm trying to keep them away from the houses. There. <laughs> right, there we go. Perfect. Now we need some jobs. Oh, we can build an office. So I feel like the office should go in the middle. And we'll upgrade our office to tier two if it stops spinning. So we just need one out the back. And then that will upgrade. Nice. Look at our tier two office. So we need another one to the side of it. <laughs> and the side keeps changing because it's bloody spinning everywhere. So, oh god, one there, one there, and one up there. Is that close enough? No. <laughs> look at the smoke actually going around in circles, that's cool. Oh no, look, things actually get pushed to the edge. The classy house and the coal plant are actually moving away. <laughs> oh no. Alright, let's quickly get these done. Oh no, I feel like our classy house is going to come off. Look at it, it's right on the edge, it's teetering. You never want your classy house to teeter. Oh, and the classy house exploded. Alright, three... Tier 1 offices on top. That seems dangerous. If we quickly build them. Yes! We just about managed it. <laughs> oh, this is so dodgy. The coal plant is about to go as well. Look. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. All right. Thankfully, there's no budget constraint on it. <laughs> Let's build another coal plant over, over there. And then we'll start our classy houses. Som somewhere in the middle, I think. We'll do one there. Just got to do one next to it. That's not really next to it, is it? I'm going to build some trees. Sod it. All right, so the classy house wants a classy house behind it. So now we've stopped moving. We'll quickly do that. So one there, one there. That should all combine. Yes. And the same on top. Quick. Before it starts spinning. One more. Oh, no. <laughs> the last one's on a wonk. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yes. Merge. Yes. One more. Yes. All right, so now just two like that. Is that enough? Oh no, that's no good. That's no good at all. <laughs> oh yes, I did it. I did it. We got a classy house. Uh, for the secondary goal, we actually need five of those. I don't think that's going to be possible. <laughs> uh, but I will try and upgrade this office. So we got to literally just fill in all the gaps with tier one houses. There we go. Is that going to upgrade? Yes. Oh, look at it. Tier five office. I'm going to build all this cool stuff. We got an arch over there. Got an obelisk. A statue of me. Build a load more trees. Doesn't that look nice, people? Now it's just a case of building houses everywhere. <laughs> houses for everyone. <laughs> oh no, they are sort of all exploding. We're getting some good upgrades going on in there, though. <laughs> there you go. The game accepts that as a standard housing layout, so that's good. Oh no, now there's a fire quick. Fire truck, put it out. We're only like one... How many... We need 400 people. We got 399. Yes, we did it. We did it. <laughs> Oh, that was carnage. That was absolutely carnage. Yeah, but that was Tiny Topia. We got a few more cool levels coming up. We got like San Francisco we can do. We've also got the Teeter Town. Building a perfectly balanced city. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, enough of that. That was Tiny Topia. If you want to see more, boost the like button. Otherwise, I hope you've enjoyed the game. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.